Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to our first video of 2018. And uh, so first of all, a very happy new year to you all. Uh, I hope you're all well and you had a great Christmas and are uh, now into the new year and looking forward to uh, a new beekeeping season that will soon be upon us. I know it's only the first week of January, but I suspect that as the weeks go by, uh, it'll be a bit like a parachute jump where you're free falling nice and gently and then all of a sudden you get that ground rush and the season's hitting us before we know it. So it's time to get back into work mode and start seeing what jobs need to be done and uh, what we're going to do for the new season. And in terms of the new season, uh, last year we shot quite a lot of videos and uh, I was really pleased that we were able to maintain that three videos a week uh, on our YouTube channel. Uh, this year we're going to concentrate on our queen rearing again and I think last year showed that the Nico system for us was the best option so we're going to focus very much on that but also we're going to have another crack at the punch method uh, which was kindly donated to us by BBWare uh, who have also given us a Snellgrove board to try out. So uh, my thanks to James and the team at BBWare and so at some point in the spring or summer we'll have a crack at using the Snellgrove board and uh, try and look at all of the methods that we can use uh, with that piece of equipment. So it's a, a very chilly day today, it's trying to rain I think there could be a bit more rain in the air, so we're not going to hang around for too long today. Uh, but we wanted to get out and uh, start treating all of the bees with our oxalic acid. We're trying to find, uh, you'll recall from last year's video, uh, a period of uh, broodless state in the colony. So that means all of the, the mites will be phoretic mites and that means that they'll be on the backs of the bees instead of in the cells because the oxalic acid trickle method relies heavily on the fact that the mites are on the bees and not in the cells because it won't work if they're in the cells so uh, we're not going to have a broodless a completely broodless period i'm sure because the weather's really not cold enough for a long enough period for there to be a completely broodless period and i still prefer at the moment the trickle method uh, rather than the vaporizer. Um, that looks really quite tricky in terms of having to wear face mask and all the protective equipment and I can get around the bees fairly quickly with the trickle method. And for those people out there that only have one or two beehives, I think the trickle method is probably still the easiest form of treating with oxalic acid over the winter period. So we're going to take our injector, uh, our 5 mil injector, and I'll talk about that when we get into the apiary, and open up a couple of hives. Uh, we're going to use the Maysmore poly hives, and uh, again my thanks to Jonathan and the team at Maysmore Apiaries for supplying the poly hives for us to try out. Uh, we've successfully used them through last season into the autumn and now we're into the winter period and it's going to be interesting to see how they progress compared to the wooden hives that we've got uh, alongside them as a comparison. So uh, we'll go and open up one of the Maysmore poly hives and we'll use the trickle method to treat them with the oxalic acid. Okay so we're in the apiary and what I would suggest is for all you beginners out there just take a couple of precautions of having your bee suit on and your hood ready to go up or in fact put your hood up and have your smoker lit. You're unlikely to need them if it's really cold because the bees will still be in a tight cluster but if they break and they fly up at you you want to have some protection, uh, have your hood up and ready to go and also have the smoker ready just to push some of the bees back down uh, if you need to. Uh, hopefully we won't need them today but I've got them ready just in case. So we've got our oxalic acid solution kept warm in the flask. We don't want it to be icy cold when we dribble it over the bees. And this is the 5ml syringe that we're going to use to trickle the oxalic acid across each of the seams of bees. And uh, if you check out our Patreon page, you'll find a, a more in-depth uh, explanation as to how this system works. Thank you. 
So looking down through the cover board, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five seams of bees. There's a little bit of condensation around the edge of where the, the bees were, but other than that, everything's looking fine. So we're now going to just trickle some oxalic acid over the bees. One or two bees coming up, so we'll just give them a little smoke. And that's the treatment. So the cover board goes back on. We've actually got the queen excluder that we're leaving with the bees as well, just so that we keep it with the bees. And then we can get the roof straight back on. And that's the oxalic acid treatment sorted for this colony. So that's a very quick treatment with oxalic acid. It takes no time at all, really. If you use a vaporizer, then I think that takes around 30 40 seconds, so it's, uh, it's not much different. Uh, but I do prefer this uh, trickle method because I don't have to put lots of masks and protective clothing on. Well, I think we uh, managed to do that just before it's starting to rain again. It's a, a pretty soggy day today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Please do check out our Facebook group, which is Stuart's Beekeeping Basics, and don't forget to have a look at our Instagram and Twitter feeds. Also if you're interested in supporting our channel then please do take a look at our Patreon website and I'll put all the links down in the description below. But that's where you can access more in-depth videos on some of the methods that we've been using over the past 12 months or so and we'll be posting lots more videos there in the coming season. So we're going to pop back into the apiary and just treat the remainder of the colonies with oxalic acid and we'll catch up with you next time. Thanks for watching.